Hey guys, Sam from West Meadow Rabbits here on this chilly snowy day in northern Massachusetts and since it's the middle of winter I wanted to take a quick opportunity to show you guys what a pollarded tree looks like and you know why it's so awesome. So briefly a pollarded tree is a tree that's been cut off about you know three to six feet up and what this does is it causes the tree to sprout out thin tender branches with new shoots on all sides and believe it or not this kind of tree can live almost indefinitely really I mean there's trees in Europe that are hundreds of years old that you can tell have been pollarded you see we're coming up on them right here and pretty much every northern culture has an example of pollarding or the other option is coppicing which is where you cut it off at the stump and you get these shoots so these are black locust trees that I pollarded this summer and I've already cut a ton off but you can see just how many shoots have come off these things and you can see also I've been I've been cutting these all summer so they were actually much larger there's four of them but I'm not exaggerating when I say they filled in this entire area so what's great about pollarded trees is that you know you cut them at the, you cut them right there and then they send out all these shoots and you harvest those shoots and then they'll send they'll just keep sending out more and those shoots are the most nutritious leaves they're accessible they're green most of the stems can be chewed i mean these are just the core stems you're seeing i've already trimmed off all the little branches because the rabbits love them um and it's it's a great way to generate a ton of fodder versus something like that which is just a regular tree you can see way less shoots taller inaccessible and the greenest nicest leaves are going to be up there at the top whereas these guys go crazy so pollarding trees is actually super super simple i'll show you how to do it in the summer but right now just so you get an intellectual idea you literally just take a chainsaw cut right there and then leave it alone for a few weeks and all these things will come out the the best thing about that is it it's super it's just so easy <laughs> you can literally pollard any tree but the trees that are more likely to send out shoots are better you know a common example would be ash uh, black locust is fantastic, but you can work with whatever you have in your climate. Like I said, this has been popular in the north where there's not as much grassland, but it works anywhere. Um, there's only a couple things to keep in mind. Every two years, you want to make sure you cut off these really big ones or the tree will start to really regrow into a tree. But otherwise, you can just harvest as needed. Um, as long as you maintain, like I said, the pollarding thing, you'll see just like any plant when you trim off the root stem it allows all these lower branches to shoot out of the trunk and these will last pretty much forever like I said this was how most of Europe looked in medieval times and leaf hay was a major thing back then and uh, this is pretty much how you do it sorry my neighbors right there I don't want to disturb her um, anyways yeah this is pretty much how you do it so you can see again right now it's winter these are the bare bones but in the spring and summer this thing is going to be a ball of green you won't even be able to see through it it's also fantastic hedge windbreak wildlife habitat you name it you, you can't go wrong so if you have a tree in your backyard that's i mean again you could do this on any age but it works better with younger trees you can see these trees are probably about you know six inches in diameter give or take crows are mad they think i'm going to slaughter some rabbits today so they're waiting for the guts <laughs> but yeah you really only need one of these but if you have a few it's perfect and you could you could pollard something you know as young as this but it works better on you know trees that have a good trunk and root system established and that'll allow them to send up as many shoots as you see the first time you pollard you're gonna get a ton like this it'll slow down a little bit but generally if you keep on top of it you're gonna have no issues you just want to make sure you completely harvest it down to the bare trunk at least every two years or you'll start getting you know basically branches that are turning into trunks and it'll be too big but yeah so this is a good opportunity to see it this is going to produce an absurd amount of feed I feed 30 rabbits off of uh, these four right here in the summer pretty much no hay just uh, locust leaves works with any tree if you can get a tree that has more nutritious leaves that's better but I strongly encourage you to give it a try um, I'm gonna probably make a couple more videos today but that's it for now so until next time please like share and subscribe and look out for new videos